What's going on guys and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Mirage. Last time we took out the second main kind of target we need to go for. Uh, but now we are heading back to the uh, bureau to talk to Rebecca about what's happening. But hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon or evening. And let's start today's episode. Our critical hidden one returns. Finally, you found the path back. What do you have for us? The one we are looking for is a Demiune, someone out of Baghdad. You are certain? I found proof. They were working with the tax collector and the harbor master. One used the guards to harass and extort coin from the Demiune. The other seized goods at the docks. Extortion, I understand. But seizing goods? More objects from these ancient beings they worship? They are looking for a rare hairpin imported from the East Road. It will be up for auction at the Deirat al Mal. An official invitation into the auction. Now, we have a way in. Well done. Our target has to be someone connected to both Al Anga and Al Kululu. Someone working -Kululu. closely with the officials. Informers heard whispers of the Khalifa's treasurer. In recent times, they have been quite involved in the businesses of Kah. Someone like that will no doubt make an appearance at the Da'irat al-Mal. We should prepare, so I will scout ahead. Meet me near the souk when you're ready. Not oh, a lot I'm is ready. known about this person. Underestimating your opponent is a fool's folly. Worried? I will tread carefully. As always. We always tread careful. We do have three skill points available, though. Wasn't the one I wanted to go for four? Um, Assassin's focus capacity is two. Additional two. Additional. Ooh. And go for four assassination. Ooh. We're getting it. We're getting it. So we're going to do that. And now we need to meet Roshan. Uh, she's not that far away, to be honest. She's literally 230 meters. Literally around the corner. Look at us kind of chilling up there. Surprise. You're dead. Oh. Thumbnail. The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant, wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it, whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. Thumbnail. <laughs> the first feather without a head. <clears throat> it is your duty to find the right one. Oh. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise. And how much more so for fools. Haban Mubatan. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, treasurer. Property stolen, merchants extorted, foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin, one up for auction at the Da'irat al Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire. 
and draw you from the shadows. And draw you from your shadows. Sh shadows? Shadows. Assassinate the treasurer. All right. It is time. We have no notoriety. So far. This is just the marketplace, so we could just have a little cheeky walk around. You know, just browse the spices, the herbs, Refreshing to see the, the silks. So lively. The traders only bring Go, Pinkidu. Or we can take the scenic route and say hello to our friends on the ceiling next to all these boobers because this guy has a key up here and that key might become useful let's take the scenic the route so the let's take the, the bloody scenic route all right, so we've got multiple enemies ahead. Okay. Come with... Did he just fart? I'm pretty sure he farted then. I heard like a... Pretty sure he did a cheeky, cheeky drop for it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. I wanted to hit the pot, but there was an auto lock. What was that about? I went to him for the bloody pot. That was stupid. But he snapped onto him. Bloody hell. Off with you. Looks like it's going to be one of them episodes today. Right, I got the key. But I don't know where it is. Where the uh, thing for that is. I don't have a clue. Alright, let's just have a walk in through the front entrance. Like I said, we'll check out the spices. See what's in the pots. Look for some intel. And see who's in here. Because there's a person over there. A couple of people we can pickpocket. Should have known you would be here, Kong. Oh, look who it is. You know me. Mr. Come, Kong. Let us check. Do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafa. The treasurer? Khalifa. Mm. Khalifa. I do have something, but you know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? Oh, come on. <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch, the Dairat Al Mal. It's not only an important event for the upper class of Kach, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. This guy, I swear to God, just likes to lose everything. Lose bloody everything. There's a person over here as well we can speak to. Oh, well, let's go and get this item from... for Kong. Because the last time we talked, spoke to Kong, he uh, 
We got the tea back for him, right? Where is this guy? Getting to the point, I think we should insist. Wait, this is the stall Kong was at before. This must be the stall Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate. Well. Give me a minute. <coughs> oh, we've got to move that yeah. to climb up there. Roger. That's just going to blow a hole in there, isn't it? Ah, hold on. Everything is fine. Stop panicking. I'm just moving some crates. Trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. Yep, can't climb that wall. We've already dealt with the rooftops, right? So I guess we go back to Kong. And hand this plate back in. Kong, I found your suit bowl. Here, Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful robe for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the East. Ooh. Visit the foreign merchant stall. Ears drop on the mysterious woman's conversation. Let's go to the mysterious woman. Because we've seen a lot about him. heard a lot about this woman, right? With like the perfume and stuff and... We can rush, yes, Edati. The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears close. The treasurer is fond of the Kina. As you know, no one is more unhappy when three dozen bottles go missing. But the harbor withholding our supply of production has been slow, yes, Aidati. Certain incidents there have also made our situation difficult. Let's follow them. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. 
I will talk to the Khalifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume on the tax collector's letters. I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. I must speak to her. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But, because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. Basim. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. Ning. All right, let's go to the other stall, which is in the other part, isn't it? It's in the other half. So I'm going to have to cut through, otherwise I'm going all the way around again. Excuse me. Oh, here it is. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Longing for the exquisite, ya sadiqi. I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind. A beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin? From the East? This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasure. El Kululu. I must look out for it at the auction. The auction should be starting soon. <clears throat> Al Kululu. <clears throat> Here's the auction. I wonder if the woman's going to appear as well. Tell you no, it's not as busy as I thought it would be. Oh, she is here. She's there. Assalamu alaikum. Yasas. Nihal. Hello. It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning. To listen to your heart's desire and purchase what God has shown us. It Where's the treasurer? It great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al-Mal. First on our exclusive captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that? One of his her. No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. 
Never mind. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning, the treasurer. Two. Any others? Hmm. We have a third there. Hold, who owns it again? Number three, what will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart, listen to your desire. Hmm. No one? Then sold to the handsome bearded man. I put, I put five fingers up to go for five fingers, but you gotta remember he now, used the left hand, so he only has four fingers. <clears throat> and we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. Alright, so I'm down 500 silver. For a herpin. Did you see her? Her calmness, her grace. But I guess that will bring the target to me, right? Or an... I have an appointment with the treasurer. Move aside. Well, a or brooch. an audience with her. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called, summoned. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer, if she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. Find out where to obtain the ivory coin's brooch. No brooch, no entry. Oh? You know how this works. Yes. But I left my brooch in there. Do you not see the problem here? No brooch, no entry. Well. He left his brooch in here, did you? This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild. Look, see? With respect, that does not <laughs> entitle you to three bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle What's of honey now? without a single coin. Impossible. Bah. This is a waste of my time. Hello, spices for you? Hello. Trouble with customers? No more than usual. These people from the ivory coin think themselves touched by God himself. The ivory coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Whatever you know can help me. Well... It will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karch. Thank you. Okay. So here's the guild. We've already we already know it's through there. So let's climb up here and get it access to this little airy. An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. The Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. Uh, uh, uh. 
This must be the ivory coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. Nice. The guard will have to let me in now. What? Hi. What? You're a dead. <laughs> He saw nothing. There was no witnesses. But I should have run back over and collect my knife. I still have three left. So we should now be able to access this area. And then get an audience with the treasurer. Assalamu alaikum. You again. What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thanks. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. Jesus, dude. This is of inferior make. I wonder if Meet your oh. God! Whoa! <laughs> Watch your back! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> what in the hell? What just happened? Yourself, what just happened then? What the hell just happened? I was told to follow. Huh? I was told to follow him. Next thing you know, they attacked me. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sid. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. It's because he was stood there and I just continued walking, wasn't it? <laughs> That's why. But them guards was not stood there. One has to be careful not to get bitten in there. Please refrain from speaking about the treasurer inappropriately. You may enter. Good evening, everybody. You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. <laughs> Exquisite. Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No, but I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn- Did they say I was lucky? 
I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. Oof. Stubby, stubby, stubby. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly alone. Grabbing the feather like that, that's like some serial killer shit, isn't it? Proper serial killer things, collecting little totems. For all the murders. Time to get stalked again. Ripperoni. A bloody big guys. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, oh, I want to do this again. She's busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. Wait. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. Oh. You are a new face. My name is Ben. You must have a good Okay, luck. we can skip this. No, I do. Everything's I fine. I when I, I sh no. <laughs> F O O N. Gotta watch this bit again, though.
return to the bureau. The treasurer! <coughs> She's dead! The guard! Not Help! Not yet. Someone killed the treasurer! We got you! That's dirty! You will stop her! That works. Everything's fine. Smoke bombs OP. Get me the hell out of here. I guess I've got to go back to the bureau now, right? Yeah, return to Rebecca. So let's see what Rebecca has to say now. And see who the next target might possibly be. Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity harsh. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes, wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. Time to sleep. I wonder what she's concerned about. About this whole Ginny thing. Disciple. We got some upgrades. Oh, there's a shard nearby as well. That might be worth getting. So we can possibly get the sword. How many have I already got now? Have I still got... I don't know if I picked up another one recently. Yeah. So we just need to get one more after we pick this one and we can get the sword. A Thabine member is near. About the races, you go on. That's ours. Don't. Tough, Just sure. don't. I don't mean to boast, but I've... No! No! This shard brings me one step closer to uncovering the mysteries of the chamber. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. There was a witness. So, regarding the investigation now, we got this target, which means one more clue towards the Ra al Afas. But now, we need to work for this bureau regarding this target or info, right? Labby contains lots of books, but he would like more. Return the books to the House of Wizard. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, we need to go to this bureau now. And that's where the next quest line will commence regarding who we need to kill for this, for this target. 